Hello and welcome in today's exciting episode. I make a mock up of Butterick B6706. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect jacket. So this year I'm trying to make up at least a mock-up of every jacket pattern I have because I've got 50 or 60 of them. So here's the first Butterick one, Butterick 6706, and it's got three different um, styles. It's actually a dress, but I'm just going to make the jacket. So it's going to be a cropped jacket and double-breasted. And yeah, I like this one here, the charcoal grey one but I think I'll lengthen the sleeves a little more. So there's two different types of skirts, three different types of sleeves. I think the longest one is nicest, but I'd also add a, an inch or two to it. So what you need is there's two pieces on the front, one on the back. This is weird. So normally when you've got sewing patterns, you either do darts or you do princess seams. But this one, the front is princess seams into the arm side and then the back has got darts on it. Darts and tweed fabrics don't mix. But what you can do is do the darts on the structural layer and then not have them on the bulky fabric. You just sort of use the structural layer as your base and then sort of drape the tweed over the top. So we won't discount that entirely. So as you can see, I do make up the mock-up. And on the left, we have the Vogue 7975. I just end up comparing the two. But yeah, so we'll get on with it. So um. What I'm doing is the charcoal grey one there, but I'm also adding about an inch to the um, the cuff of the of the sleeve. So what I need is the two front pieces, the one back piece, which is cut on the fold, and it's a one piece sleeve, which I'm not usually a fan of. And there's two different pieces for the collar. There's an upper collar and there's an under collar. And I do like the idea, instead of cutting all your pieces out, collar pieces out from one piece um, you've got an upper and a lower because it makes the roll of it better like you can your collar sits back well so I do like that about it but it's supposed to be easy I don't agree with that I feel like if this was the first sewing pattern you ever made then you there'd be a good chance you'd give up sewing straight afterwards but anyway we will make it up so I've kind of cut out all the piece I've traced out all the pieces and um, yeah so there's three pieces for the torso of the jacket the center front side front and the back there's also a, um, a front lining and a back lining but we're just going to use the center front as the lining and so I've cut out all the pieces there's also one piece sleeve and two piece collar so I've cut out all the pieces with the torso of the jacket I also added five centimeters or two inches to each of those pieces. Just because when something is a dress, it has the weight of the skirt to pull it down. So I thought I needed to add just a little bit to the bottom. And also you need to turn up a, a proper hem. So first of all, we're gonna do the sleeve. You should always do the sleeve first when you're doing a mock-up because if the sleeve doesn't fit, um, at the arm side, so at the like the whole hole of the the shoulder hole of the sleeve, then you're gonna have to go up a size. If the top of the cap bit fits, and it's just the actual arm bit of the sleeve that doesn't fit, then that's fine. You can correct that. But if it's that top cap bit then the easiest thing to do is just go up a size. But anyway, this is fine. So I've machine sewed it, then I pressed it, then I turned it out and I pressed it again. So our sleeves are fine. I've turned one up at the regular length and I've turned one up at a slightly longer length because I want to see which length I prefer. So if you do your two sleeves at two different lengths, you could just stand in front of the mirror and turn around and see which style you prefer. 
like at the look at and also the the feel of i just find it's um yeah it's much easier if you've got the two different ones on the jacket slightly different ones you can also just like push the hem up a little bit but i find it easier if there's just two different ones and you can stand in front of the mirror and just turn and turn and decide that way anyway so the sleeves are done and then with the torso of the jacket i just sewed all the long seams together and also I did the darts in the back. I don't really like a one piece back. I mean for convenience sake it's good but I feel like you just get a really better shape when you have princess seams on the back. Also I like if you've got princess seams at the front I prefer to also have princess seams at the back. So as you can see I've um, done the so it's I've sewn all the bits together and then I've press the seams and as well as the center front side front and the back I've also added in the front lining piece because it's got lapels you really do need to have the lining or the facing piece in lining is just the the exact same piece as the front outer whereas the facing you have to cut a different separate piece so yeah, when you're doing a mock-up, I find it easier to just do the um, the lining piece. But anyway, next we've got the collar to add to it. So the collar, as I said, you have to cut two upper and one under. The under is the two piece and you have to sew them together. Then you sew the, the, th um, the three bits together and you turn it in the correct way and then you iron, uh, press it and then once that's done then you have to sew together the bottom bits and yeah as I said the under slit uh, the under collar and the two upper collar bits are different sizes so that when it's done um, it sits like it rolls back nicely so I do like that about this pattern it's got a the collar is good so yeah and once you've done it then you have to pin it to the um, torso of the jacket. I found the instructions here a bit weird and so you have to sort of cut um, cuts into the neckline of the jacket and then you sort of have to pin them until it fits sort of thing. So I think that would be a little confusing to a beginning sewer but here we go it's on so we've got the whole of the torso of the jacket and we've got the collar on as well so now we have to set the sleeves so I put a pin in the top and the bottom and then there's yeah there's quite a few notches on this one which is good it's, it's always good when there's notches to match up and they're not confused so that's good and yeah so I set the sleeves so do you just match up all the notches and then ease in the top third and then machine sew the sleeves in and once you've done that then just they don't have to be perfect but make sure you cut notches clip the curve so the bottom third of the like the underarm of the sleeve you need to clip those curves so that you can get your arm into the jacket properly and you can try it on and it'll fit properly so yeah I've made it um it's a nice looking jacket I guess but it's it's not for me but I'm glad I made it it's yeah it's a double breasted one and I haven't put the um buttons in there's supposed to be four buttons and as I said it's just the torso uh, it's like the bodice of a, a dress so yeah you're supposed to then sew the bottom together and add a side seam zip as a jacket it's it's reasonable i i mean i like the look of it but i don't for me it wouldn't be comfortable just cuz i've got a short torso and i don't know i just think it's weird to have darts in the back but have princess seams in the front it's so it, I guess it makes sense because it's a dress pattern but and because you want it to look like a jacket at the front but if you're actually making it as a jacket I would be tempted to 
change the back so that it had princess seams into the arm side. It's a very um, sculpted, rounded in the front um, jacket. So if you want something that hugs you, and also I feel like the so the side uh, front piece changes. Like if you're an A or B bus cup, then you use one piece. If you're a C cup, you use a different piece. If you're a D cup, you use a different piece. So as I always have to use the A, B piece, and because I'm more of an A than a B, it's always a bit big for me. So maybe that's what I don't like about it. I yeah, it was my instinct to just shave a little bit off the bust to make it more flat, but I didn't. So maybe that's what I don't like about it. It's it's nice enough, but it's it's certainly an easy mock-up to make, but yeah, not for me. I I like the look of it. I just don't like it. <laughs> that's ridiculous, isn't it? I'm having an off day today. But the sleeve is a nice fit. It's a good fit. I would personally add an inch or two to the bottom of it just so that you could get a proper cuff turn up. And yeah, it's I I wouldn't add um proper buttons and buttonholes. I would add four buttons, so four buttons on to one side and do um press studs on the inside. I wouldn't actually cut in like scar the fabric but that's just me I think if you made this out of a faux leather it would make quite a cute and like made the back a little bit cropped and higher and made the front maybe a little bit longer it would make a good um motorbike jacket sort of thing I think that would be cute and maybe did those things on the shoulders yeah I just it's always difficult making a mock-up in cotton when it's a jacket because you know it needs more weight. So maybe that's part of it as well. And yeah, I just have tiny shoulders, tiny head and a short torso. So I think it would just accentuate everything wrong in me. But yeah, so there we go. That is the Butterick 6706. And oh, yeah, it's not bad. The one on the left is the Vogue 7975 and you can see how that has more ease in the back and it'll be and because there's no high collar either it'd be much easier to wear and you get a much better range of movement so you if you like I usually go to the grocery store after I've been out to a meeting or whatever so I just find it easier to reach up and things like that but if you're just going to sit it work at your desk and like not move your arms and just type on your keyboard then that isn't really going to be a factor that you think about when choosing your jacket pattern so I mean it depends what you want it for it does look nice but I prefer a more practical jacket like with a wider range of movement myself and also just comfortable uh, more comfortable as a default so yeah, I hope this was helpful and thank you very much for watching. Happy sewing.